Hello and welcome to Teacher Laila's video classes. And today's class, it is uh, dedicated to all those who will eventually say goodbye to uh, a loved one or maybe to the place you live, to the company you work at. Um, you know, this is the time of the year that there are many changes. There are lots of leaving and departing to leave, to depart. And this is the moment we say goodbye. So let's learn today how to say goodbye in different languages. And let's start from Portuguese. Uh, Portuguese. Uh, yes, in Portuguese, we have this traditional, quite, uh, maybe the most common way. Everybody says, ciao, ciao, ciao. Uh, what people don't know is the way we spell in Portuguese. It starts with a T, T-C-H-A-U, ciao. And I've written... Uh, I've, I've written, I've read uh, this spelling and also this spelling. I'm not sure about the second one, but this first one, I know it's Italian for sure, and they all mean bye, so ciao is the Portuguese way. Uh, we have other ways, uh, longer ways, até, até. In, in, in Spanish would be related to hasta, até, até logo, hasta luego, até logo, see you later, or até breve, see you soon, até breve. This is not really popular in Portuguese. The next language to learn is French. So in French, let's see what I have in French. Mm, yep, the, I think the traditional way, au revoir, au revoir, I really must apologize this R pronunciation, but it is something like so, or the easiest way to say goodbye, which is a bientôt, a bientôt, a bientôt, I believe it means see you soon, See you later. A bientôt. Au revoir. And the next language is German. Let's see what I've got in German to teach you. Yes, in German, words are usually longer. So this is a way to say goodbye. So auf Wiedersehen. Auf Vida Zen Auf Vida Zen uh, I think it means something like see you uh, again or the easiest way choose choose T C H U umlaut S set this represents double S choose Auf Wiedersehen. The next language is in Spanish. And in Spanish, let's see what I've got here. Mm, the classical adios, adios, or hasta luego, um, hasta luego, até logo. In Portuguese, we have a similar até logo, hasta luego. Um, but this is the most common way to say in Portuguese, até mais, até mais. But as we are focused on Spanish, hasta otro rato, hasta otro rato. It's another way to say. And the Irish flag, English, and in English, uh, besides goodbye or 
farewell. Goodbye, farewell. We have this long expression. See you later. See you later. Or my favorite one. Have a good one.